pursuing an understanding of the working of the universe, we are trying to understand the fundamental forces of nature. Why the apple falls down and not up? Why do the stars shine at night? Why do all the planets revolve around the sun? And why is the universe the way it is? How does the shine give energy? And why all this comes together to give life to you and me? In fact, we are looking for the instruction manual of the universe. The last hundred years have seen an acceleration in the pace of this progress towards understanding. With the discovery of X-rays, the humble electron, the proton, the neutron, and many such particles which have been found in experiments with cosmic rays that are the remnants of the Big Bang. These particles have been traversing the universe for 14 billion years, ever since the universe was created. And they provide us with clues to go closer and closer, backwards in time to the point when the universe was created. In order to decipher these clues, we scientists have been conducting a large number of experiments. For example, taking hot air balloons up in the atmosphere, high up in the atmosphere, and using cosmic rays to bombard detectors, studying what we find over there. We use bubble chambers, cloud chambers, and eventually accelerators, which started from being tabletop, and now we have the 27 kilometer long Large Hadron Collider at CERN. With all these experiments, it is hoped that we will be able to recreate the Big Bang, albeit in a very small scale, to understand and tie up the loose ends of the creation story. For us scientists, it is the Big Bang that holds the key to unlock the secrets of the universe. It's the Big Bang that spewed out constituents of matter that make me, you and all the nature around us.